Jacob, do you think that was a fair result? Um, I think first half we were at the races. I think we didn't get wide enough, create enough chances out wide, which obviously they played a diamond, so that's where the spaces were going to be. But um, even the, the Alex had that chance where he went down, I think that could have been a penalty. But I think we didn't deserve to be one nil down because I think the goal could have been prevented. Um, but in the second half, I think uh, we, we've had the majority of the ball, had all the chances, we pinned them back a lot. But I think uh, they've got that first goal and they've kind of held on to it for, for as long as they could really. But once we got that, that equaliser, I think it was us that were looking to, to get the winner. In what way do you think the goal could have been prevented? Um, maybe stop the cross, we'll have, to, we'll have to have a look back at it on um, Monday or Tuesday. Um, stop the cross and then when the ball goes into the box, someone's got to, got to head it away. That's, that's it really. Slightly different position for you today, how did you enjoy it? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it to be fair, some, some bits better than others. It's, it's different to be honest from whatever, you're basically playing as a left winger when you're out at left wing back and that's going from centre back to like somewhere there, it's different but um, it's, part of, it's a different experience and, and I did enjoy it. Um, I feel like I was getting in a lot of good areas in the second half when they started getting a little bit more, sitting behind the ball a bit more tired. But no, nah, I, I did enjoy it but it's not, it's not my preferred role. <laughs> But, but no, wherever I need to play for the teams, I'll, I'll try, try my best to do a job there. Have you ever played there before? No. Have you ever played at left back? Because that would be in a back four. Have you ever played left back in a no, back four? No, never played left back either. Um, I think I came on last 15 against Newport, uh, left wing back, and that was that was totally new to me. That's, that's the first time I've had a sniff out there. It's been a bit of a whirlwind few months, hasn't it, for you? Because you've become a, a regular in the league too. So I remember talking to you after your first game at Bristol Rovers, and since then you, you haven't been at the team. No, I know. Um, to be honest, I, um, I didn't expect it uh, when I first came in. I thought um, I could hopefully stay in and around it, but um, I always backed my ability and I knew that if I come in and do what I can do, then there's no reason why I, I shouldn't be playing, and um, I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. Yeah. Has anything surprised you about playing first team football in League Two? Um, I'd say the how fast it is to be fair. You've got to do a lot, lot more defending. But um, I think the way where we play as well, you've got. I have when I play on the left side of the back three, I join in as well, which uh, is very good for me because I, I like to get forward. But um, no, I just say um, it's a little bit more relentless. The teams, the teams are more clever. They know. They know what to do. <coughs> they have better tactics. So that surprised me a little bit, yeah. But um, I think I've caught up a bit well. And in terms of playing a back three, have you played in a back three much at home? Um, I've had little spells of it, yeah, where I played on the left side of the three, more towards the end of the 23s, 18s, and I loved it there. To be honest, got um, got used to it. Like five, ten games, I think I played there and. I was getting forward there as well, and I enjoy doing that to a fair. But you've also got to defend as well, which is uh, which is where it starts from. You're probably aware that your manager at Hull and your manager at Cheltenham are, are good friends, so uh, yeah. probably a lot of progress reports are going back, I would imagine. Yeah, um, I went home the other week and I, and I spoke to the, the gaffer from Hull. He obviously said, "Give me a bit of feedback from what gaffer here said," and uh, it's been positive to a fair. Obviously, there's. There's stuff to improve on, which is in everyone's game. So I'm doing that on the training ground with the gaffer and the defenders as well, and I feel like I'm coming along nicely. Yeah. Uh, when I spoke to you at Bristol Rovers, I said to you, "What are you hoping to achieve from your spell at Cheltenham?" And you said, "A goal." Oh, so no. when's that coming? Uh, I think I said clean sheets as well as a goal, and I think we kept quite a few of them. <laughs> so uh, I think that was, I, I think we kept nine, something like that. Um, but I've, to be fair, I've, not really thinking about the goal. If it comes, it comes. I was in the back stick there and I've screamed to Boyley, leave it. And just got a little flick on it and it's put me off. I've still got a decent contact on it to be fair, but um, he said he apologised and it's one of them in it, we move on. So, You've come very close to scoring, haven't you, a few yeah, times? A few times. Keepers pulled off a few good saves against Exeter. Um, and today again, crew as well. But. Um, if I can add that to my game, I think yeah, it's going to make me a better player. So I am looking looking to do that. Now your loan officially is up at the end of December, I think. Are you hoping yeah. to stay? Um, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed my time here, to be fair. 
Um, I know there's chats going on behind the scenes um, that I think they've made me too aware of it because obviously I'm a young lad and they just want me to keep keep my head down and enjoy my football. Obviously I spoke to the gaffer at Hull and, and I think that he wants me to stay, stay so, so we'll see what happens. And you presume you'd be happy to say? Yeah, definitely. As I said, I've really settled in now. Boys are first class and I've enjoyed my time so far so hopefully if I can, can stay and hopefully push on, maybe try and get try and get promotion or play up. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And how have you found living down south? Um, it's actually a really nice area, to be fair, uh, where it is. Uh, we have Wednesday off, so go into the town and have a, have a little look around, find some new places. Um, but there's obviously Sheafy here as well, so I, and the boys in the flat spend quite a bit of time down there. and. And uh, yeah, as I said, I've, I'm settled. I, I do enjoy it down here, but obviously, do miss that them home comforts of your, your mum and dad. But um, and they've been supportive. They come up a lot, and always on the phone back and forth. So so yeah, to be fair, I'm I'm used to it now.